Welcome from New Zealand, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. This is BB Ed here and today is the 3rd of December 2023. And I'm here to share another piece of information and a vision that the Lord has given me regarding Donald Trump. If you haven't seen the last video that I put out a few weeks ago, I suggest maybe you go and see that first because you'll get a, a much greater understanding of what I'm bringing here today if you see that and then click back on this one. Anyway, let's get into it guys. Um, so, just within a few days of that last message, the Lord gave me yet another piece of information about Donald Trump and where he's at right now. And it really actually almost changed how I perceived that last message. And I was trying to portray that when I was speaking to you regarding the prophecies from um, the last video, that we shouldn't jump too much into making a conclusion and feeling that we understand a prophetic word um, because really we're only seeing small portions of the whole picture. I mentioned that and I believe that the Lord is saying this again but in more te detail. He started by sharing a vision with me so I just want to share that with you because it's definitely related and then I'm going to go on and just share a few scriptural points um, it will only take a couple of minutes before I share the words that he gave me. So the vision was about, uh, well it was about jigsaw puzzles really. <laughs> he showed me one single jigsaw puzzle piece and it was on its own and it was different from what you would normally expect to see. It had no picture and it was a silvery metallic looking piece in that it had almost like a reflective silvery surface. And if I just looked at that one piece of jigsaw puzzle, I would have no idea what God was talking about or what, what this was all about. He said to me these words, it's time to put this piece in. And I immediately realized he was speaking about this extra word that he'd given to me about Trump. I needed to put it into that puzzle that we'd already looked at with the last video. So the single piece was no use to us, but when God gives prophetic messages, he's giving us little pieces of information that we put together almost like a jigsaw puzzle. And what he was saying to me was, okay, you've already shared something a few weeks ago. I'm giving you another little piece for you to put in. But he's got some really important messages for us here about still not rushing in to make conclusions that we understand too much about Trump and what's going to happen to him in the future. He's just warning us that the picture is not complete. He's trying to hold us back from getting overly super emotional about this, but he still wants to keep us a little bit in the picture because God is gracious and he wants us to have some understanding of what's happening. Isn't he amazing? Okay, so I've written here on the left-hand side just a few main points about the last video, just so that you'll get some idea or for those of you that have watched it you'll have a bit of a memory of it I'd asked the Lord what's happening with Donald Trump right now and he said it was a second class act that we won't be able to recycle he then showed me a vision of Trump looking really upset and he said there are people that will that are opposing Trump that are going to totally ridicule him he asked me to look at scriptures in James, and you will have to see the video to understand that. But after considering all those things, I said, will he be lifted up in the future, Lord? And he said, God said, I'm afraid to. However, we're just starting to form some sort of picture maybe there. And then he seemed to throw a spanner in the works by showing me a child in a race. And I knew it was Donald Trump, and he was being persecuted or having real difficulties in that race but it showed that Trump persevered and it made me realize yes he is a person that doesn't give up easily and it was a good lesson to us about perseverance so that was sort of like a like a wild card that was thrown into the mix maybe a jigsaw piece it didn't seem to really fit but with God all things do fit together He's a God of order. Amen. 
And then lastly, another Trump card. Oh, excuse the pun. It was a vision of Trump in a prison suit. Now that's the last bit that I want you to hang on to, that Trump in a prison suit, because that's where we're going on from. Just before I share the word, I think it's really necessary to share this vision, uh, this, sorry, this picture that the Lord paints in 1 Corinthians 13, 11 to 12, when he speaks of the dim an image in a mirror. He says, what we see now is a dim image in a mirror, then we shall see face to face. What I know now is only partial. Then it will be complete as complete as God's knowledge of me. So he's saying, what we see now is a dim image. We're never going to have the clarity or understand the full picture. I think um, what I feel the Lord has been saying to me lately is, um, sometimes when we watch YouTube videos and things, we can get overly emotive about it. And sometimes we just need to step back and get hold of our adult self and actually just calm down and look at it in a logical form in and in a matter of fact way. And just be reminded again that this is only partial and we're not going to have clarity and still, until we stand face to face with Jesus. Amen. Okay, folks, so here is what the Lord said to me. He said, if those are prison bars... It must split. It's a new jigsaw puzzle piece. And he's sh showing the prison bars are to be broken open. Okay, so doesn't that throw another piece in the pile of, you know, perhaps feeling a little bit more confused? But we saw Trump in the prison suit and now he's saying, if we think those were prison bars, they, they're going to split open. Okay? And then as if to um, confirm what he'd just spoken to me, he used this word, transposition. And it's not a word that I would normally use, so I looked it up, and it it's means moving something one from one position to another. So things are going to change from that prison suit type picture to being set free. Well, that's how I'm understanding it at this point. And in light of all this, I just thought it's really important that we speak about the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit imparts God's truth to us. And I've written this scripture, John 16, 13 to 14, down for you so you can think about it. When the Spirit comes, who reveals the truth about God, he will lead you unto all truth. He will not speak on his own authority, but he will speak of what he hears and he will tell you of things to come. And we know that Thessalonians 5 says that we need to test prophecies and we need to bring them before the Lord and ask him for confirmation as to whether it's um, a word of truth or not and to ask him to review, reveal the interpretation. So we have the ability to find out the truth through seeking the Holy Spirit. So some of you may not really understand all this talk of the Holy Spirit. And what do I mean by that? In John 3.16, it talks about God's saving grace, about his plan so that we might be set free. And it says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that all who believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. It is by believing that God sent his son Jesus to Calvary, so that your sins might be forgiven, that you pass from a sentence of death to life everlasting with him. By faith in God's Son, you become a new creation in Christ, and the Holy Spirit of God comes to dwell within you. All you need to do is to pray to God, asking to receive this gift of salvation. He is longing to give it to you and to have you as part of his family and in his kingdom. So all you have to do is put your faith and trust in Jesus, his son, and he will reveal himself to you. Jesus will reveal himself to you, folks. 
So John 3, 5 also says, I'm telling you the truth. Jesus said that no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the spirit. So what does he mean about being born of water? If you read the verse beforehand, you will understand. But he's talking about being born of a woman, the waters of the womb, and then we have to be born again in the Spirit of God. Now folks, I am not going to tell you what I think the interpretation of this extra puzzle piece, the being set free from the concept of being imprisoned um, for Trump, because it can be symbolic or it can be actual. And he may not even be put behind prison bars but we all know that many, of many, many people out there want to see him go to prison. So I think if anything that we've learned from this message is that God wants us to understand we only see in part. Seek his spirit about the meaning of these things, but it might be quite some time before we actually see a greater portion of this and have a greater concept of it all. But thanks be to God for the things he does share with us. Amen. God bless you all. Bye for now.